Alright guys, so for today's video, this is um, how to use keyboard function keys like F1 to F12. Na. So, I'm going to show you how to use F1 to F12 sa keyboard natin. So, this is all about keyboard tutorial. So guys, this is Shigra Katero. Sa lahat pang hindi nakakapag-subscribe, please don't forget to subscribe. Shigra, ah, uh, Pinoy, <laughs> Pinoy Tutorial TV, okay? So, ngayon mga friendship na gagawin natin, pag-aaralan natin kung paano gamitin ang F1 to F12 na function sa keyboard. So, yan sa inyo, nakikita nyo yung title natin. Use of Keyboard Function Keys F1 to F12 Keyboard Tutorial. Dito lang yan sa Pinoy Tutorial TV. At ito na nga siya yung mga um, keys na pag-aaralan natin. No? So, every keyboard comes with a set of function keys, F1 through F12. But do you know that functionalities of those function keys or meron tayong FN keys. Ano yung FN? Function. No? Shortcut ng function. Sometimes in multimedia keyboard or compact keyboard, this function keys some uh, come as secondary functions on the other keys like brightness. Dito pwede natin i-adjust yung ating brightness. Sleep, play, media, player, or pwede rin natin i-mute ang ating um, laptop. Yan yung use ng F function. Tapos, uh, in such keyboard, to use function keys, you may need to press another special key. Okay? So, para gumana pa yung ibang mga keys or mga function sa keyboard, kagaya nga ng mga F1, F2, F3, F4, kailangan natin pindutin muna yung F, Fn bago sila gumana. So, besides window, Windows key, and then any function key, these function keys can be used with combinations of other keys like Control or Alt or Shift, okay? So, bukod pa doon, sa Fn, pwede rin natin gamitan ng Control or Alt or Shift, na? So, nakikita nyo yan sa inyong keyboard din. Uh, eto, nakikita nyo itong mga function. Ayan, so dito mga friendship na, meron tayong Control, Alt, eto. Ayan, Control and Alt. Ito yung, itong, key, itong uh, keyboard na to is walang FN. Pero kalimitan sa laptop, meron na siyang FN keys. Okay? So, dito lang yan. Um, may kita nyo yan. Pero dito, ayan, ilalagay ko rin ha. Ito. So, ito yung uh, keyboard na may FN keys. Okay? So, ayan. Kita nyo. Okay? Ayan. So, ayan. So, each function key is built to perform specific tasks, but it may be ver vary based upon operating system and the, king the kind of program you are using right now. Let's see a few common functionalities that can be performed using this function keys. Few of such function functionalities you may have used, few not. Okay? So, ito na mga friendship. No? Ito na. Hindi na tayo. Ayan. Sa inyo makikita, no? F1. Ito yun. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, F10, F11, F12. Yan yun, mga function yan. So, titignan natin ngayon kung ano yung sa F1. So, sa F1, meron tayong almost every program uses this key to open its help and support window. So, kung pinindot mo ang F1, may lalabas siya, no? Para sa, ano, help and support window. F1 with Windows key shows up Windows help and support screen can be used to enter CMOS setup. Ano yung CMOS setup? Pag CMOS setup ay kalimitan, uh, na-open lang pag tayo ay nag um, format ng laptop. Okay? Or meron tayong ayusin sa system. So, CMOS setup. Okay? Yan yun. Uh, blue screen siya tapos meron siyang mga para siyang para kayong nasa loob ng uh, command prompt okay yan yun okay number 2 so yun guys ha almost every program uses this key yung F1 ha para i-open ang help and support window okay next meron tayong F2 so ano yung F2 saan mo pwede gamitin yung F2 yes I know almost everyone has used this to rename files or folders or icons quickly. So, yun mga friendship, no? Kung gusto nyo daw na magpalit ng uh, pangalan sa inyong folder or rename, pwede nyo gamitin ng F2. Okay? So, can be used to enter CMOS setup then. Pwede nyo rin gamitin para pumasok sa CMOS setup. So, paano? For example, nirestart nyo ang inyong laptop, tapos sabay pindot nyo sa F2 yan. Pupunta nyo sa CMOS setup. 
You know, pang nag-format mga friendship. So, Alt plus Control plus F2 to open document in Windows in Microsoft Office. Ayan. So, Alt plus Control plus F2 para buksan ang inyong document sa Windows Microsoft Office. Sunod naman, Control plus F2 ay para i-display ang print preview windows in Microsoft Office. Ayan, yun yung mga shortcuts, mga friendship, ha? Alt, F, uh, Alt plus F2 ay para buksan yung save as window in Microsoft Excel. Pwede nyo itry yan sa inyong mga laptop. Tapos, Shift, Shift plus F2 can be used to add comment box in Microsoft Excel. Ayan. So, mga friendship, no? ito yung mga shortcuts niya na pwede pinagagamitan ng F2 function. Okay? So, kailangan nyo ng Ctrl plus F2 or Alt plus F2 and Shift plus F2 para, ano, para, uh, ma, para magbukas yung gusto yung buksan. Or, yun nga, para magbukas yung print preview sa Windows uh, Microsoft, na, kailangan nyo ng Ctrl plus F2 at Alt F2 para mag-save us, para magbukas yung save us sa window sa MS Excel. At Shift plus F2 para sa comment box sa Microsoft Excel. Okay, next. Alright. So, F3. Ano naman ang gamit ng F3? So, press F3 to open search window to find files and folders. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo buksan daw yung inyong, or kung gusto nyo mag-search sa window, o magbukas ng folder, pwede nyo gamitin ng shortcut na F3. Okay? So, in MS-DOS, or Windows command prompt, F3 repeats the last command. Okay? On most browser, F3 is used to open find bar. In Microsoft Word, Shift plus F3 change the text from uppercase to lowercase or all capital letters. So, mga friendship, magandang shortcuts to, no? Shift, Shift F3. Okay? Kung gusto nyo palitan yung uh, inyong um, text ng uppercase or lowercase, i-highlight nyo lang then Shift F3. Tama? So, yun. Change the text from uppercase to lowercase for all capital letters. Ah, okay. So, lahat ng capital letters ay mapapalitan pag gamitan nyo ng Shift plus F3. Okay, next. Mga friendship, no? F4 na tayo. So, ano ang F4? Most common out plus F4 to close current program window. Ayan. So, pwede yung gamitin shortcuts yan, no? For example, may nakabukas na window. Ano ang program window? For example, meron kayong uh, MS Excel or MS Office. Alt F4, magkaklose yan. Okay? If no program window is open, it launch shut down dialog box. So, pag wala naman daw na uh, program window na naka-open, walang, for example, walang MS Office or Word or Excel or pa pa uh, PowerPoint or etc. Basta may naka-open kayong window sa inyong screen, pag wala daw, pupunta siya sa shut down dialog box. Yun na mag uh, appears in your screen. Next, Control plus F4 closes active window. Ayan nga. Within current active window in Microsoft Windows. Opens address bar in Windows Explorer and Internet Explorer. Press F4 to repeat the last action performed in Microsoft Word. Ayan, pwede rin siyang undo. No? Yung huling uh, ginawa nyo na action sa Microsoft Word, press nyo lang yung F4. Pwede nyo gamitin yan. Next, Sana ay may nanutunan kayo mga friendship. No? Next naman is F5. So, F5 almost in all modern internet browser. Pressing F5 refreshes or reloads the web page. Ayan. So, F5 refresh or sa inyong uh, keyboard, uh, sa inyong mouse, pag clinic nyo ang desktop nyo, tapos right-click, merong refresh yan para. Pwede ng F5 din ang gamitin nyo. So, start slide show in PowerPoint. F5 din ang pwedeng gamitin. Opens find the replace window in Microsoft Word. Go to window in Excel. So, yan ang gamit ng F5, mga friendship, no? Para sa PowerPoint. Kung gusto nyo mag-start ng slide show, F5 lang. At refresh ng inyong desktop. Next. Alam nyo na, at least meron na kayong idea kung ano ang gamit ng F5. F6. Almost in modern browser. Pressing F6 moves the cursor to the address bar. Control plus F6 toggles between various Microsoft Word documents. Okay? So, yun. Almost in all modern browser daw. Pag pinanes nyo ang F6, ang inyong cursor ay mag, what? Uh, to the address. Moves to cursor to the address bar. So, address bar, saan yan? Sa taas. Na? Pag meron kayong web browser na naka-open, o browsers, na? So, automatic mag-move siya F6. Okay? Tapos, control plus F F6 naman ay toggles between virus Microsoft Word documents. So, yun. Uh, parang lilipat-lipat siya. Parang tab. No? Parang tab siya. Okay, next. 
Okay, F7. Press F7 to launch spelling and grammar dialog box in Microsoft Office program. So, kung gusto nyo gamitin yung spelling and grammar, just simply, what? Press F7. So, ang gamit naman ng Shift plus F7 opens research window in Microsoft Office in few browser like Internet Explorer, uh, Mozilla Firefox, and then... Pre uh, pressing F7 turns current browsing on or off. Ayan. So, yun yung gamit yun. Para ma-open daw ang research window in Microsoft Office or in few browser, pwede yung gamit yun ang Shift plus F7. Okay? Yun yung gamit nun. So, F8. Holding F8 during Windows boot. Process enters into the Windows safe mode. So, pressing F8. Display a thumbnail image or of all works space in Mac or OS X. Ayan. Yun yun. So, holding F8 during Windows boot process enters into Windows safe mode. So, hindi nyo na kailangan masyado yan kasi nga, ginagamit yan pag may problema ang laptop nyo or gusto nyo mag um, may inaayos kayo. So, kailangan na safe mode. Okay? Next, F9. Okay. So, F9 mga friendship na main application it is used to send email like Microsoft Outlook Shovel CRM. Control plus F9 and Alt plus F9 are used to build mail merge document in Microsoft Word. Okay? So, ano daw? Control plus F9 and Alt F9 are used to build mail merge document in Microsoft Word. Yan. If you are a programmer, you maybe have used F9 to compile and execute code in combination with Control or Alt key. So, ito mga friends ay para sa mga programmer niya. So, wala itong, uh, hindi nyo masyadong magagamit ito. F9. Next, ang F10. In many program Shift plus F10 opens up the menu. Window equivalent to right-click shows menu bar in Mozilla Firefox Internet Browser or highlights the same in many programs. Sometimes it is used to enter Simo Setup. Okay, so pwede mo rin gamitin sa pag-enter sa Simo Setup, no? Pag ikaw ay nag-format uh, ng laptop or desktop, okay? So, yan, ang gamit din ng F10. So, in many programs, Shift plus F10 opens up the menu window equivalent to right-click. So, yan. Uh, shortcut din, shortcut din siya para mabuksan yung menu window. Next. Uh, sorry. 11. F11, guys, is used to enter and exit from full screen mode in all modern internet browser. In Microsoft Excel, Shift plus F11 adds a new sheet. Control plus F11 adds new macro to the workbook and pressing Alt plus F11 in MS Office program in box program visual basic window for the document. So, for those who are using, uh, for those who are, what, um, yeah, using the Visual Basic program, ito, et, ito ay mga gamit nyo, no? So, yun, more on ano din to, guys, uh, sa mga mahilig mag-program or gamawa ng, um, uh, sa programming language, no? Yun nga. So, it's used to enter and exit from full screen mode. Pwede nyo rin gamitin sa pag full screen mode sa modern internet browser. And in Microsoft Excel Shift, F11 adds a new sheet. So, kung gusto nyo mag-add ng new sheet, na, new sheet naman sa sa new sheet. <laughs> new sheet. New sheet. Ano ba yun? New sheet sa uh, MS Excel, pwede nyo gamitin ng F11. Or Control plus F11 sa macro to the workbook naman. Okay? Yun yun. And if 11, F, if 12, F12 open save as window is in MS Office program. Okay? Shift plus control plus F12 open print window in MS of Office. Control plus F12 opens document in MS Office. Opens and closes developer tools in the most of the internet browser. Ayun yung gamit ng F12, no? Kailangan nyo ng merong shift plus control plus F12 para ma-open ang print window sa MS Office. Tapos control plus F12 para ma-open naman ang document sa MS Office. Okay? Control plus 12 kung gusto nyo mag-open ng document sa MS Office. Ganon. So yun guys, no? at least meron na kayo na mga idea kung paano gamitin ang mga F function. Huh? So in earlier IBM keyboard, there were keys from F13 to F24 also but we do not use this function keys anymore. We have tried our best to give you functionalities of all function keys or FN keys. If one F12, 
but we may have missed out some important uses of this function keys and that and that's what we have readers like you please let us know if you have come across any other functionalities of this function keys we will publish it with your name for more updates and lesson activities follow and guys no? kung kayo daw ay merong na discover na hindi pa nila na na ituturo sa mga tao meron kayo na discover na function ng uh, function keys na ito so magsabi na kayo para kayo daw ay ilalagay nila sa kanilang ano ilagay niyo yung inyong pangalan pag ipapublish okay so guys thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe this is Shigre Quetero para lang sa Pinoy Tutorial TV stay safe and God bless